Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video, and now welcome back to preparing for Season 8 preseason content. I return D375 LP, and uh, we're going to try and um, get Katarina, we'll see. Uh, she's banned anyway. She's like banned every game, because she's really strong at the moment, so it's not surprising. But what am I going to play? I don't actually know. Uh, this president, Autofoot Top, would prefer to mid. Should we give him... Might give him mid lane, because top lane is what I had as second anyway, so... Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. Uh, Zero the Hero, thanks very much, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah. I'll go top. Um, but yeah. See, this type of thing, I can't jungle. This is why you shouldn't be uh, in solo queue. If you can't play every role, you don't belong in solo queue. The system is not for you. So what am I going to play in top lane instead? Uh, do we have anything below that I want to try? Not really. Nothing that's kind of screaming out to me. Like, I want to try and maybe get another Yorick game under my belt. So should we just do that? Should we just do Yorick? I guess so. Yorick Mori. Boom, baby. I think he's still pretty strong. Like, I think he may have had, like, some changes in, like, a patch, like, a or two ago. I can't really remember, though. But I think he's still pretty good. Oh, I might need to make him a new... Let's make him a new thing. Some people, by the way, have been asking, how do I have so many room pages? It, it, it hasn't changed. Um, it's the same as it always has been. You can buy rune pages as for extra slots. I owned 20 rune pages before the change happened, so I still have 20 rune pages. That hasn't changed. I don't know why people are so confused about that. It's a bit weird, but yeah. Uh, ultimate hat and transcendence. There we go. Well, that is the rock and boulder that it makes it look like, apparently. So, uh, yeah, we're going to play Yorick Mori. Going to use the Arch Light skin and hope to have a better game now than we did uh before um yeah literally i can't jungle and then did he pick oh no this guy said i can't jungle ah i see never mind i was confused but yeah yeah i never dodge someone's saying about dodging I, I never do um it's not that big of a deal to me if if you can learn from stuff in every game pretty much i'd rather just play the game i'm here to play league so yeah I'm um, against an Aurelia. That might be annoying. Like, she might have early burst on me, but then I'll have, I think, dual potential, I reckon. Like, I'll have too much sustain and tankiness in the mid-late game. But the new Yorick is pushing Yorick, by the way. It's pushing power Yorick. So you have to do well in the 1v1. Because if you don't do well in the 1v1, you're basically not doing what Yorick is designed to do. Push and take towers. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, the first game we played on Yorick, it went well for me, but it was that it was really stompy. So hopefully this game will be better. Hopefully it'll actually show people what Yorick can do uh, with the new runes. So yeah, without much further ado, let's get into it. Well, we're playing Yorick top. All right, welcome to the game today. We're playing Yorick in the top lane. Again, one of the strongest champions in the game right now, arguably. Uh, if you're allowed to do what he's designed to do, and that is push, take towers, and that type of thing. Uh, we're going to see an Udyr who's got Phase Rush. That might be the first time I've ever seen someone take Phase Rush, I'm going to be honest. Uh, but we can't underestimate uh, the uh, Aurelia. We know that she's quite strong. We know that she does quite a lot of damage. That's the whole enemy team, apparently. Or some of them. Hopefully Zareth will be okay. It looks to be... like She might flash for it, but I doubt it. If, she, if Karthus can do a bit more damage to her, that'd be good. All right, let's go back and get your health. Um, so yeah, we're against Frostbutt. Oh, he wants me to ward it? Okay. Fair enough. I'll ward it at 130. But yeah, look how cool this skin is. It's awesome. Yorick didn't have a skin for like six years or something stupid and then got like a really cool one. Which is nice. I bet Yorick players are happy about that. Okay, we'll ward it at 130, which should give enough time. If Udyr starts on red, it should that ward should survive enough to see if he goes to the blue straight away. Because sometimes Udyr's invade. They're quite good at doing that. Uh, if we get mid-late game, I actually don't know who's going to win this game because both teams have an okay late game and some people scale off, some people scale up. You know, Lee Sin will fall off. Karthus will be amazing, as we saw in yesterday's episode. Um, 
So yeah, Yorick is quite strong, but so is Aurelia. So we'll see, we'll see. This game should actually be kind of interesting. We can get some Vala Mogulis. Here we go, baby. Even the ghouls look cool. I'm going to try and just go for some good farming, I reckon. Yorick's pretty good at farming because he's got the uh, auto attack reset, obviously. So far, so perfect. But I am definitely subject to getting Udyr ganked. Luckily, my W, is, I think, is quite good against him because it can hold him in place. But there's the Udyr. He shouldn't fight him. Leeson won't win that. He won't do enough DPS. Okay, my bot lane's dead. Udyr killed... Yeah. So Lee Sin try to fight him. Don't try to fight an Udyr in a 1v1. Double kill Udyr. Bot lane's both dead. And Karthus is dead as well. <laughs> oh god. Help! Every game is a stomp. I mean, me, me and Aurelia are just kind of chilling in top lane. Like, what's up, guys? Make love, not Warcraft. Oh, that actually hit. That's surprising. So yeah, so far, uh, not good. Karthus doesn't really want to fight in the early game. And Lee Sin kind of forced that, sadly. Ooh, that damage. Okay, Udyr's ganking again. Maybe a dead Karthus. Again. Yep. Udyr might snowball this game. Damn, son. Okay, Lee got him. Is dead. <laughs> this game. So crazy. Bot lane's dead again. <laughs> Help! Was it was it to do with picking Yorick and like going like everybody just feeds? What's going on? Please. Someone explain to me why does this happen? I got minion block. Ow. Uh oh. Get wrecked! Hell yeah, dude. That was close. She should have probably gone for the flash auto on me because I think I would have died. But she didn't have enough confidence to do it for some reason. Okay, we need to push this a little bit, I reckon. And we'll go back. All right, nice. Good one. Good one v one kill. It's deja vu of the last episode. It is, isn't it? We 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 were killing. Who were we against? We were against a Jace. Rings a bell, maybe. <sighs> okay, let's do. What do we want to do? Let's do this, this, and this, and teleport straight on top of her because we have quite a lot of confidence. Maybe that should have not happened. Maybe that was a bad idea. I didn't realise I had, like, no minions. Oh, God. Udid likes his, the mid lane, doesn't he? But again, Udid can become pretty useless if you get to mid game, mid late game, when you're grouping and that. So we'll see if he becomes useless. Hopefully so. Zerath, by the way, is level 3 and is in mid lane taking XP from Karthus while his bot lane is getting pushed in. So maybe this Zerath just doesn't really know what he's supposed to be doing at all. Nice, if he survives. Okay, he didn't, but that's still pretty good. Karthus goes for a 1v1 kill. Yeah, I could probably 2v1 if I play it right. Okay, I'm pretty safe. Like, I don't know. I doubt a new deal will gank top lane. Of all priority lanes to go to, I don't think top lane's a priority. So I'm saying, will I play Earth when it comes out? Probably not. I don't play. I don't find Earth that fun. Okay, he's got ultimate. Back. I want to know where? Well, she just used E. What 
What is your day? I don't know. <sighs> you know, start pushing back. If I leave the wave as it is, it'll actually slot slowly start pushing into my territory. Okay, there he is. So the enemy team are really just wanting to shut down the Lee Sin by the looks of it. You know, I've been there sometimes as junglers. It sucks so much when you just feel like you can't do anything. But the Lee Sin kind of did do it to himself by, you know, actually fighting in the early game. Um, fighting him in a 1v1 and stuff. That was never going to go well. I used my ultimate. May as well. That could have turned into like an all-in fight very easily. If I'm quick enough, I can block her off here. Okay, we did. Look at my ultimate just like sucking her. Like, <laughs> I, I knew that wasn't going to do a whole lot of damage. See, I could have got baited in going for that. Because you're like, oh, you know, Carthasol, it'll do deeps and she's nearly dead. She practically didn't take any damage. So. <laughs> she like queued them all. All right, Lee Sin's coming. There you go. He should be able to kill her by herself. Like, go, 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 go. That's free. Oh dear. Why didn't he use a ward? He doesn't have any. That explains why. She did flash though. Uh, Alright, let's do some tower damage, shall we? I don't really want to overstay here. Oh. Uh. No, 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 no. You'll die. She might live. There's like a very small chance that she'll just end up living there. And it's like, uh, that would be really bad. I reckon he's in like here. I'd like to stay an extra minute in lane so I can just teleport back to lane. Wait, that worked. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, <laughs> the weird. She should have just gone back. Like mid lane, they're always fighting, man. And it, Karthus doesn't want to be fighting this early, man. It doesn't go very well for him usually. This Karthus doesn't seem that bad. He's holding his own against the victor, nearly killing him again. But he really shouldn't be trying to fight him that much. It, it just isn't what his champion is designed to do. Let's go back. Is Yorick hard to pick up as a new champ for, like, Silver? Well, obviously, everybody's different, but he's not that hard of a champion, really. Not the way that I'm playing him. <laughs> the thingy rush. I haven't built Zorot in ages. We back, baby. Again, he's all about pushing power, is Yorick. So if you can have some decent strength in the 1v1, and you can just uh, you can afford to buy a Zerot pool, you know. It's pretty strong. Boom. This tower's going. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, ba -dum, bum, bum. This tower's mine, Aurelia. There's nothing you can do. Just, just let me have the tower and move away. Mwah! Ah, ah, we got first tower. This is what Yorick is all about, baby. Ooh, hello. Bot lane seems to be doing all right. Karth is randomly is roaming. There we go. Killing spree, Jin. So this game is... Slowly turned around and now is becoming in our favor. And we are doing what Yorick is designed to do. Push like a madman. Um. Mm. 
No, we can keep going. Oh, I missed the E. No. Oh my god, that was, I was permanently stunned. I literally had no chance to even use a spell there. That sucks. Oh, if I used one Q, I would have survived. Because I would have had Grasp of the Undying. Damn, that was close. What? God, there's still so much bad stuff happening in this game. Did they, guy, did they just not know that they were behind them? Like, they just killed Lee Sin. There's one. Oh, we'll actually keep with the yellow trinket. Because then we can always teleport back to it, right? But yeah, I imagine Jin ult and Xerathot, maybe that's what they were thinking. Like, you know, they can ult at the same time at, at range. Maybe that's why he picked Xerath support. But yeah, this game's nuts. A lot of, lot of deaths and kills so far. Who's he talking to? Oh, he called him Trick 2G. Is that an insult to Udyr players to be called Trick 2G, I wonder? Maybe. Yeah, this guy definitely doesn't like Trick 2G. Holy money. Wait, did he walk the wrong way? He was safe, and then he walked the wrong way. God damn it. The problem that I have now is if I continue to go in crazy split push, am I just going to get camped? Like, well, not camped, but am I just going to get jumped on, I wonder? Oh. Well, seems the answer is yes. Yeah. See, I, I would love to stay and fight right... Oh. Ugh. I can't split push anymore if we don't have any pressure anywhere. Like, they should be, like, trying to go for bot tower or something. Distract the UD. I just know that's Project Jin. And now he's alone because he doesn't have his support. This is literally what this game is. Is that people are just doing stuff really weird. Like, Jin should have backed off. Or why aren't they with Jin? Like, it's a bit weird. And no, I, I don't want to stop swap to bot lane. The whole idea of, of Yorick is being able to split push and stuff in 1v1s. If I go against a 2v1, I can't do my job. And in order to do my job, I need the pressure. I need people to be able to like pressurize something so Udyr can't always be top lane. Or Leona to come top lane or whatever. Uh, I definitely want to do Rift Herald. Uh, actually, I might gank. Oh, right behind him. Oh, this Karthus is just getting owned. It's because we have no pressure in bot lane. This is what all of this is stemming from. Okay, they got him. They need to do that more. And now Udyr's there. I'm going to actually take the teleport. Usually I'd cancel it by now, but I think we can fight. Oh, she actually took it. I thought she cancelled. Oh, mid lane died. So Karthus... Oh, he's 2 and 8. What the hell are you doing? That might have not been Lee Sin's smartest move. This Lee Sin is an idiot. Lee. What? 
Why did Lee Sin kick Udyr directly into our AD carry? That was just moronic. And then Karthus is fighting again. He's going to be 2 and 9. Karthus, stop fighting. My god. What's happening? It's crazy. Just because preseason's here, people think like they, they can just feed or something. It's weird. What's happened? Again, apologies for frustration, but when it's every single game, it's actually kind of annoying. Really annoying. Ugh. Not my game, so stop fighting. Like, it's not hard. Again, a part of being a good player is recognizing when you're actually having a bad game and you adjust accordingly. Like, he shouldn't be even trying to fight 1v1s anyway, but doing it, you know, nine times and continuously dying is just insane. Surely we can kill this. Surely. Hello? Why didn't... Okay. Ooh, his tiger claws hurt. Nice. Okay, that's something that's good. Whew. Stressful game. Tears of life preserve me. I don't know why I put that down there. I, like, well, I, I know what I did, but I probably shouldn't have. My idea was putting it down was Udyr instead of attacking me once. If he used attack move, he'd attack that instead. Sometimes it works. He is actually taking quite a lot of damage, but... I don't want to fight it. I don't want to risk getting killed again. Actually, we'll swap this now as well. Okay. Well, okay. Mm, maybe it's time to group, which I don't really want to do as an Yorick, but it might be better to win this game. Is this Karthus inting? Like, you can't be 211. Without not trying. Well, you can't be, you can't be two eleven if you're trying. Like surely. You have to be inting at that point. That's just insane. Oh you knew I was in here. Did he teleport straight? Yeah, he did, didn't he? Uh. Wait, Lee Sin now died? Holy moly, this game. <laughs> mm. Weird. I really want that tower, but I'm not going to be able to get it, so there's no point. Okay, uh, that's like 300 now, isn't it? Yeah, I can't get it. Hmm. 
we do outscale. Kind of. We kind of outscale. Uh, hey, he didn't die! Woohoo! <laughs> he didn't die, guys! In one fight he was a part of, he did not die. Miracles do happen. Oh, I'm coming. Just kill her. Ah, no, sorry. The, the legend of the Karthus is over. He died. Look at that! Oh my god, that was funny! <laughs> the Jin and Zerathal on top of each other. You just can't dodge it. There's too much going on. That's hilarious. Wow. And I'm crazy quick at pushing. Wow. More squishy. Oh dear, how did you get behind us? I actually don't know how he got behind us. He must have went that way, I guess. Damn. If we group as five, this is free. But if people like the Lee Sin or the, the Carthus try to do individual stuff, then it, this game's over. Unfortunately. It's very dependent. Un 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 unfortunately, this is the type of game that is very dependent on the people that are doing bad. Sometimes games are dependent on, oh, if that person just does really well, we'll win. This isn't one of those games. This is like, if they keep doing bad, we'll probably lose. If they just do average, we'll probably win. So. I've come too far. Yeah. We'll see. I carry these souls in their Unfortunately, we haven't really been able to do our job anymore as Yorick for a while at least. It's just not been one of those games. And again, you have to you have to adapt and adjust. If you don't adapt, you'll be like this Carthus. You'll just feed. Okay, we probably want to get this pushing. Just to have a, like a some form of just did Lee. Okay. I was like, did he die? Okay, let's go back. So this now will be pushing. Uh, he's alone, but he should be fine. Those two should not be all the way out here because they're going to just die. Again, it's those two. It's the Lee Sin and the Carthus are just costing this game. Both of them too. And they've happened to be together. Both of them. They need to stop trying to play like around themselves. It's just not working. Okay, this Leeson's actually dumber than I thought he is. <laughs> this might go well. Watch Jin. No, Jin, don't stand in his W. Holy moly. <laughs> he literally just stood straight onto the Victor W. Willingly. Uh... Oh well. Damn, man. The decisions of those two cost us this game really badly. But it happens, I guess. Just it's disappointing when it does. Damn. That was bad. That was really bad. Poop. But we had some strength as Yorick, I guess. We got a nice solo kill on her. Got the first tower. So, again, we did show it, but... I it's like, it's the, it's the same as the last Yorick game I uploaded. It's...
just kind of crazy people feeding and doing really weird stuff. But yeah, 4 and 14. Ugh, damage wise, eh, not terrible damage actually. Do more than their Ezreal, more than their Aurelia as just a, you know, a Yorick. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it. I again, I'm going to try and get another Yorick game sometime, but if they all go like this, it kind of puts me off the champion. So uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, throw a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time.